how Rod Tang beat Jonathan Haggerty. Let's start this breakdown with their heights. Jonathan Haggerty is listed at 5'7", and Rod Tang is listed at 5'6". Rod Tang has a wingspan of 65 inches, and Jonathan Haggerty has a wingspan of 72 inches. That means that Haggerty's arms are freakishly long for his height, because I'm 5 inches taller than Haggerty, and we have the same wingspan. Round 1 Okay, first round, Jonathan Haggerty starts with a teep. Rod Tang misses that low kick. Low kick. Again, low kick for low kick. Just a lot of kick exchanges. There you go. You know, I really wish that they measured the length of their legs too, instead of just the wingspan. Oh, did you guys see that? First thing, first exchange. We saw something familiar right there. Haggerty basically committed on that cross and then Rob Tang counters it. So basically, Jonathan Haggerty threw that signature cross that he knocks people out with, and then at the same time, Rob Tang threw his hook to the head, but Rob Tang saw that opening really quickly and threw that elbow, very similar to the same elbow that Super Leg threw recently. And this all happened within the first minute of the fight. I poke. It's very obvious that Haggerty is the longer fighter. It looks like he has longer legs too, so he has to keep that distance because Rod Tang is a pressure fighter and he's very heavy on his hands. So you don't want to get within punching distance of Rod Tang. Low kick, nice. Switch kick, nothing crazy, just gauging that distance for both. See, see Rod Tang missed two low kicks, and that tells me that Haggerty has the advantage here when it comes to the kicks. He can reach Rod Tang where Rod Tang can't reach him. Oh, what a body shot. Oh my God. Beautiful counter. Oh, that's a liver shot, sent Haggerty down. Oh man. I know it didn't look much, but if you've ever been hit by a liver shot, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I've been dropped by my coach before. I'll show you guys here, watch this. Bruh. And there goes me. Good night. For Haggerty to be even going back up like that is, is pretty impressive. Look at that, but you can tell he's hurt. He's trying to hide it, but you can tell his body language changes. Good low kick by Rod Tang. He's trying to capitalize on a body shot again. He hits him again. More low kicks, just trying to set up the body shot. Wow, there you go, he's just going ham on it. Uh-huh, beautiful. But you see, you see how sharp Rod Tang is here though? I don't know if, if you guys can notice that, but Rod Tang was capitalizing on that body shot when Haggerty was hurt. Now that he sees that Haggerty is fully composed again, he's a lot more careful with his shots. He's very careful not to get countered because that will hurt him. And that could turn the fight around. But he stays sharp, sweep attempt, nice. Now that Haggerty is pretty much back here, Rod Tang is you know, very careful with his shots, um, still respecting Haggerty while keeping that forward pressure. Oh, hey, good low kick. Boom. It's pretty solid, you know, pretty solid exchange when Rod Tang is not uh, going ham. When Rod Tang is not putting too much pressure and they're kind of like at a, you know, at a pretty even distance where they can reach each other. It's pretty uh, even exchange. The only time it goes, um, it goes in Rod Tang's favor is when the pressure starts happening. But at a distance, Haggerty has him. You see that, like, like teeth to the face. Very hard to counter. Boom. A nice elbow by Haggerty. Flying kick. Again, you do not want to be in that distance against Rod Tang. Rod Tang is a more mat. Very, very punch strong. So, round one is over. And I personally give that round one to Rod Tang clearly because of that knockdown. Oh, look at that. So it was a tip to the face first. And then Rod Tang punished him for that with a solid liver shot that sent him down. And I don't know if you guys know, but when you're training in Muay Thai, you never ever want to tip anyone in the face because I don't know what the source is from this, but from what I know, from what I've heard, is that the face is the cleanest part of your body and the bottom of your foot is the dirtiest one. So if you put your foot on someone's face, that means that you're fully disrespecting them. I mean, of course it's legal here, it's a fight, but you get my point. Rod Tang took that personally and hit him with a, <laughs> with a body shot. <laughs> Round two. All right, I mean, Haggerty survived that, um, that body shot, so props to him. Boom. Yep, Haggerty utilizing those teeps a lot, which is what he really needs. He's very long, so 
Uh, and Haggerty is also really good at switching that stance. Like he goes from southpaw to orthodox. And right now he's really uh, doing a good job at it because look, he's storing feints, he's switching, he's keeping Rod Tang from a distance, which is what you want. He's moving around, he's circling around. He's not just going straight back because if you go straight back, Rod Tang will kill you. Look at that southpaw. Also, Haggerty has a very powerful back teep in southpaw and a back kick. So that's a really good strategy. That's a really good adjustment. It's almost like Haggerty is going to be southpaw this whole round. Clinch, uh-huh. That's a stalemate. It seems like Rotten got the underhook. Even control on the biceps on the other side. Oh, wait. Haggerty just keeps switching stance to confuse Rod Tang. Some pretty cool feints there. And utilizing his uh, left leg more. Uh huh. Nice sweep by Rod Tang now. Oh, wait. See? Left leg, left leg kick by Haggerty is pretty cool. Like, very strong, very powerful. Like, it's a really good adjustment by Haggerty and his uh, corner. There you go. Watch Southpaw again. Rod Tang with a back kick. Oh, nice catch. Oh, that's that's the highlight right there. That that highlight itself made a lot of new Muay Thai fans during this time. When I seen that jump, that um, sweep defense, it was beautiful. Now and back then. Haggerty utilizing that jab and teep to really maintain that distance. Another uh, body shot attempt by Rod Tang. Rod Tang is really just trying to close that distance because he knows that Hagri's body is a target and he's setting up that body shot with a bunch of low kicks and he um, head kicks. But eventually and in essentially, we know that Rod Tang is looking for that body shot. Oh, wait. Rod Tang is such a brawler. He's just pressure, pressure, pressure. I'm gonna punch you. Haggerty switching stance again with a back leg. Oh, see, with a back kick. It's working out for him. Like, he, he can keep that up. Clinch again. Mm, Rod Tang got the inside on the left side. I can't see the other side. Ah, uh, that's a stalemate right there. Yeah, that's hip to hip. Oh, wait. That's round two. Round two, no knockdowns or anything. I don't know about you guys, but I, I could see like, th this was a pretty close round. I think that Haggerty landed a lot of efficient shots. So I would give this round to Haggerty. Like it's close though. Also, before we go to the best and last round, I just want to let you guys know the coolest shirt and shorts that I have come from X Marshall. So make sure you click on the link in my description or use my code Sean Renz to get you 15% off. Round three. Again, Haggerty utilizing the teep to keep Rod Tang at distance. Nice strategy right there. Mm. Oh, what a sweep. In this fight so far, every time that they would get in a clinch, we can see how advanced both fighters are. Like every single time they get into the clinch, their attempt, the first thing that they do is to really get into positioning and keep each other off balance. So there's always like a sweep attempt or everything's just positioning and they're just, both of them are so good at clinching. Boom, head, head. Oh, that cross that Haggerty landed. We gotta slow that down and see how clean that landed. I mean, with that cross, Haggerty would knock out a lot of people after this fight. That cross by Haggerty has a lot of power to it. It's just feel like it will knock out anybody not named Rod Tang or Superleg. That cross is pretty deadly and Rod Tang just ate it. Good exchange. Another clinch, watch, fighting for positioning, fighting for positioning, and stalemate again. Amazing. Low kicks, low kicks. Nice. Taggerty switching stance so comfortably. I love that. Uh-oh, let's go. Oh, that elbow landed on Rod Tank's nose. Look at that. He's bleeding. Oh, that was a beautiful exchange. And uh, let me save you guys the drama. Basically, uh, Haggerty got eye poked here. So they had like a little break and uh, let's just continue to the round. Here you go. Rod Tang with a forward pressure again. Haggerty trying to create the angles, backing up while creating angles. Rod Tang with a constant pressure. Moy Matt 
at the finest. Boom. Brawler mode exchanges. Boom. Body, body, head, body again, body again. And there goes that. Ooh. The body shots are nasty. And that, you get hit in the first round with a body shot. You may still feel it like two rounds later. Haggerty coming in with power. Oops. Nice. Head, head, body again. What happened? Oh, mouthpiece, mouthpiece. <laughs> the Rotang is setting head, head, body, body, head, head. It's just mixing up the punches here. We're really trying to target that body. Boom. Another body shot. Head, body again. Oh, he wants to smoke. Haggerty wants to back out now. He's hurt. I, I don't blame him. He's just eating those crosses. Body again. You see, Haggerty really threw a lot of good punches here. He landed some clean punches. It's just Rod Tang ate them. It's, 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 almost, it's one of those things where it's like, what more can you really do, you know? But again, you know, like this is Haggerty before 145. This was Haggerty when he was much lighter. In my opinion, I don't think Haggerty got that much power until he moved up to 145. So to be fair, this was lighter Haggerty. <laughs> Head again. I, I, down goes Haggerty. Twice in the third round. You gotta get up. One more knockdown and it's over. That's the rules. Head, body again, head, body again, and that's it. It's over. Yep. This this is the fight that really made me um analyze and look into how super leg could finish Haggerty. I was really predicting a body shot about that fight, but you know, it didn't happen that way. Either way, I hope you guys like this video and let me know if you guys want me to do more of this. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace. Oh, hey.